Hello there, hope you're doing great. I'm Bernice Abubeidu Lanza and I'm excited to come your way this morning on the AM show. Guess what? A group of 30 talented Ghanaian children is set to showcase their mental prowess on the international stage as they gear up for the UC mass competition in Malaysia. Now, these young minds, armed with exceptional skills in mental arithmetic, will be representing Ghana with pride. And this morning, I am pleased to welcome Girish Gubani. He's managing director of the Moria Education. Great to have you here, sir. You. And then Thomas Kujo Mensa Ababu. He's at the Hans Future Leaders Integrated School, and he's one of the 30 who will be representing Ghana. So I'll be interacting with the two of them. And for many of you who may have seen young people, you know, in the UC Mass competition, you may have questions about it. You're wondering. Uh, what's the purpose? Why is it necessary? Uh, Mr. Gubani will be a answering all those questions. And it's a pleasure to have you here, sir. And Thomas. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for joining me, Thomas. How are you? Yes, I'm doing great. All right. So how does it feel to be representing Ghana in Malaysia in, in, in a few days, sir? Yes, I'm feeling so good. All right. Okay. I'll come back to you to ask you about your experience with the UC Mass. But let me find out from you first. Um, you know, growing up as a Ghanaian child, we used to have what we call mental and it was usually done in the mornings when you come into the class and then you're asked to it was especially on multiplication not additions and so your teacher would ask you random questions of any you know time stable if it's a five times table you know they ask you and if you didn't answer you you get some few lashes and we condemned that because we thought it didn't allow children to you know, appreciate the art of learning. It, put, it instilled a lot of fear in them. There are many people who think that the UC Mass is almost like that, just that you don't beat the kids, but it's more of um, your routine learning. Why do you think that that UC Mass system of, you know, um, getting children to calculate so fast is important to their development? Okay, first of all, I would say that uh, uh, the mental what we used to do in Ghana was also a brain exercise because it was done early morning. But the problem was the, the punishment, the scariness the children went through to answer that question would put the fear about answering that. But at UC Mass, we have a different methodology. First, we let them uh, use a tool which we call UC tool with they manipulate beads and learn how to calculate. And later on, they imagine these beads in their brain, which is a right brain activity, okay? okay? And they use numbers to answer, which is a left brain activity. So by doing this regularly, they're exercising their brain and they're increasing their brain capacity. Okay. And our methodology is to encourage children through competitions and encouragement, okay? Mm -hmm. So our methodology also plays a lot and uh, there are a group of children mm. in each class. So our competitions and encouragement starts from the classroom itself, mm. where children are grouped to compete with each other. After that, they compete in the regional level, national level, and now international level. So there are various uh, forms of competitions which we uh, hold in a year. And uh, this is to encourage children to compete and improve. Interesting. Uh, you talk about the brain development. I am particularly excited about that. So beyond the ability to calculate, what does this development of the left and right side of the brain do to the other aspects of their lives? Perfect. Right. You see, once your brain is developed, okay, when your capacity of brain is able to think fast, is able to do multitasking, mm. you're confident, mm. your brain capacity has increased, this brain of yours goes everywhere. When you go to your classroom, you apply this developed brain or uh, expanded capacity in your academics mm -hmm. and shows improvement in academics. Okay. When you take it, you go to a church, you're taking this developed brain. You go to play football or sports, you're taking your developed brain. You're at a social event, your brain is developed. So there are uh, instances where uh, school heads have told us that, look, my student was, my child was already uh, number one in the class, mm. okay? So I'm not able to judge how UC Mass is helping, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So after some time, the same person who was uh, a head of a school, mm -hmm. uh, came back to tell me that, Girish, I have noticed something very interesting. Mm. My child was not able to remember 
verses in the in the church before okay, okay. okay? okay. but taking through the uc mass right. now i see the difference in my child that is able to remember the whole verse right so i don't know exactly what it, uh, you know i've never been to a church <laughs> so i would not know but it says memory verses yes. right. so it improved the the memory of the child yeah so if the child is good you will also see the child to be more developed mm -hmm. okay and if the child is not doing so well in academics also you see some development so it's not just about the calculations it's about brain development, brain development. and how that child is able to extend um, what they've you know gained through UC mass in other aspects of their lives I'll come back to you but you Thomas how old are you nine years old nine when did you start UC mass when I was five years old. Hey, five. That's very early. Okay, let's do a test. I need a calculator because I didn't do UC math, so I'm just going to throw a challenge to you. I don't know what numbers I'm going to be mentioning. Okay, so let's do it this way, right? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Do you need time or I can just start? Okay, I can just start. Okay. 50 plus 100 plus 100 plus 20 plus 30 plus 50 plus 20 plus 15 plus 10 plus 15 <laughs> plus 5 how much is that 415 415 <laughs> he's right yay well done that was smart please am i too old to do you see <laughs> actually when i saw this <laughs> When I saw this program in Malaysia, it was introduced by my wife uh, who came to Ghana after I was here and she told me this is a program and I had the same reaction. Mm. Am I too old? <laughs> yeah, because I'm just thinking about yes. how I can develop my develop, brain. Yes, if we had the opportunity, right. we could have done so much better with the kind of concentration and confidence. Mm -hmm. Thomas is facing the camera for the first time in his life and yeah. you can see how confident he is. Yeah, yeah. So if we had this early uh, we could have done much more than what we are. But uh, definitely our brains are more developed now. So it's a chance for our future generation, children who are in the school. I would uh, request parents mm. not to feel the same way what we feel today and they should enroll in UC Mass. Mm. We are everywhere in Ghana. So get in touch with us. We'll direct you which school to enroll on right. and which center. Uh, that, that's fantastic. So, so the, you know, there's a confession from the person who was calculating for me. Uh -huh. He wasn't able to punch as fast because I was uh -huh. measuring the numbers very fast. But his brain is so sharp and developed. Okay, so Thomas, you started at five years. You're nine years now. You're in class five, four? Class five. You're in primary five. Okay. Yes. So, how do you think UC Mass is helping you? Please, it's a boost my confidence level mm -hmm. and I have achieved overall academic excellence. Wow, tell me about it. He's such a smart boy, isn't he? Interesting. So, um, there are a lot of your friends who will be asking you, um, is it difficult when you start? Is it difficult? Did you ever feel like you can't do it? Tell us about how you, know, you started and what you feel about the whole UC Mass program. Um, for me, my brother started. Okay. So I was interested in the in it. So I joined them. My parents made me join them. Wow. So you saw your big brothers doing it, and then because you saw them doing it, you got interested in doing it, right? Okay. But was it difficult when you started at five? No, please. Wow. So tell me what you were imagining when I was mentioning the numbers. Yes, I was imagining the UC two. Okay, which is the, the rectangular one with the beads on it. Yes, okay, yes. so they teach you how to, what, so is it coded? Because I'm just curious it's, about it. It's a it. simple uh, yeah. uh, equipment, yeah. a UC tool with beads, right. and each bead has a number. Okay. So when they manipulate the bead, they're actually manipulating numbers. Okay. Okay, after some time, the tool itself is not relevant. What is relevant is the methodology and how we encourage children to develop that. Mm. Okay, so the tool uh, is taken away and now we work on the brain. We exercise the brain okay. on daily basis. Okay. So a child who's able to exercise the brain on daily basis, practice just 15 minutes. Just 15 minutes in a day? Every day 15 minutes. That's enough. Is enough 
in three years or four years, your child will be transformed. Tell us how we can tell us how we can um, you know enroll in this program. I know that some schools have UC Mass clubs, yes. but others don't. Mm -hmm. So how do we contact you? Do you offer out of school services? Yes. Yeah, just tell us about it. Yes, we run two streams. One, we are offering in schools uh, across Ghana. We have more than five hundred schools who have implemented UC Mass as part of the curriculum. You can take your child to that school, okay? Make sure it is UC Mass. Check whether it is genuine UC Mass uh, the school is doing as part of the curriculum. Second option is we run centers. We have about more than 40 centers in Accra where you can take part. And we have centers in uh, uh, other uh, cities also where we run the program on Saturdays. Okay. So if your school of your choice is not doing UC Mass, you can take your child on a Saturday to uh, the learning center okay. and your child can... H how do it. I know the closest <coughs> learning center, me center well, to me? Well, you can call us, you can follow us on social media. Right. Right. UC Mass West Africa is our uh, social media handle. And UC our Mass West Africa? Yes. Okay. UC Mass West Africa. And at the same time, you can call us on 0245 211 395 to get more details about the schools who are uh, uh, up, are doing UC Mass mm. at the same time where our centers are. So we can give you all this information and uh, you can take the advantage. As you know, we don't want our children to be left out mm. in future and say that, oh, if I had UC Mass earlier my, yeah. in my early days, I could have done... Like, like how I feel now. Yes. <laughs> Even me, I feel the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, they'll be going to Malaysia. Tell us more about that. Um, it's, a, it's an international competition. So, Thomas and his friends will be representing Ghana. We'll be rooting for you, okay? I like the way you, you're confident, you are expressive. So, just go out there and make Ghana proud, okay? Know that we are all supporting you we are all behind you we'll be cheering you even if you can't see us right okay so tell us how it will happen in Malaysia um, what the the processes will be and you know eventually who comes up top uh, what the price packages are okay we are going we are leaving on 29th of November okay we go to Malaysia we rest for one or two days and practice the competition is held on 3rd of December okay. and the awards will be given on 4th so there are more than 3,000 children around the world uh, in from Ghana, we have 30 children and some parents joining us. We have a total about 45, uh, uh, a group of 45 going. And uh, from Kodiwa, I know is about 37. And uh, other countries, I'm aware, some are bringing 50, some are bringing 100. So all these students come together in Malaysia and they will compete uh, amongst each other for the international awards. So, wow. so this is how it uh, is being done this year. And next year, it's going to be in India. Uh, the last time we were there in India, there were 11,500 students around the world wow. competing. And it happens only in one day. They all ride their, uh, the, the competition is done one day. And by next day, we have a all winner. the awards. All right. So how, is it um, like we see on the TV? Because I know you also have a UC Mass show. Yes, please. So is it like that? Do you have the children, you know, being asked mm. to calculate? Is it written? Is it, um, it's you know, a written? visual. So just tell us how the competition. Okay, there are two types of competition. Okay. In uh, we test children on all the aspects of uh, concepts we teach them. Okay. One is visual competition. What is happening on the international level is they are given 150 to 200 sums, depend on each level. Minimum is 150 questions to be solved in eight minutes. The child who is able to compete all the the numbers in eight minutes. Okay, does the paper and uh, is eligible for the award. Okay. okay, for every level. On higher levels, okay, uh, children are able to do 200 sums in eight minutes. So this is a visual competition, one part. The other competitions we do on international level is listening. Well, listening competition is what you tried just now, okay. where you give out numbers and children say mm -hmm. out and um, give out the answers either by verbally or they right. write and show. So that is second type of competition. The third type of competition is flashcards. Okay, where numbers are flashed is a visual competition, but the numbers are flashed on the screen and children are able to, are supposed to calculate and give out the answer again by writing. Mm -hmm. 
So there are three types of competitions which will be done on international level mm -hmm. and the most prominent one and the most challenging one is the visual. Right. So most of the students compete on, the, on that one. the visual competition. Yeah. So tell us how you came um, to select the 30. Did you also do a local competition? No, it's, uh, yes, we do local competitions. Children who are doing very well, we encourage parents to support their children so that they can take part in the, in the competition. It's actually open for all parents okay wherever you are uh, to give the exposure to your child okay to able to compete what we have seen in the past is when children are able to go to international competition and they compete with their peers not only from ghana but from other african asian european american australia all of them they come back so confident yeah. you see when they do this competition and they win the kind of confidence they have coming back to Ghana in their classroom that look I went to compete with so many people in the world and I was able to get champion or first ranking or second ranking and that changes the life of the child is so confident and is doing so well in the classroom and it also encourages other children so uh, definitely next year we are going to India and I will encourage most parents whoever is part uh, taking part of UC Mass to please enroll your children. It's a lifetime exposure, okay? They go as a group, they compete as an individual, and they win uh, for the whole nation. Right. So that is something uh, we want to give experience to every child, and we hope that next year we'll have more children competing for, for UC Mass in India. All right. Thank you so much for what you're doing for, for Ghanaian children, and thank you, Thomas. We wish you all the best. Remember what I said, right? We are all supporting you, right? Is there anything you'd like to say to your friends, young friends, on why they should do UC Mass? Yes, I will advise my peers that they should force and do the UC Mass war, mm -hmm. and they'll become bigger mm. like how i am yeah definitely you're coming back a champion i'll be looking out for you thank you so much that's garish grubani he's managing director of moya education limited and they uh, help facilitate the whole uc mass program in ghana and 30 of our young boys and girls are participating in the international competition in Malaysia, which will be on the 3rd of December. So uh, we'll be looking out on the social media pages and um, updating you on how it goes. And um, you just heard from Thomas Kujo Mensa Bibio. He's at Hans Future Leaders Integrated School, and he's one of the 30 who will be representing Ghana. He's just nine years old, but so, so confident. Well, we'll take a quick breather now. When we come back, I'll be talking to you about Grazio Nails and Locks Enterprise. Do stay for more. Thank you.